Good morning, everybody. It's Laura. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and embark on a Galentine's or something for your mother um, to your daughter. Um, I got this from Bargain Beatbox. It says, to the moon and back. Um, so it's a very simple beading, um, process. I don't know where I ever got these. I've had them for a very long time. Took them off a very old necklace. Um, I have two of them. I'm going to use them on this necklace. Most of these things are from, uh, Bargain Bead Box, uh, these are from, I'm not sure, from my stash. This is from my stash. Uh, this is also from my stash. Um, we're just going to get into this and bead. Bargain Bead Box um, is a monthly beading subscription. And um, while I'm talking, I'll go ahead and get crimp tubes because I forgot them. Um, and it is uh, $23 shipped directly to your door and, um, you get somewhere between $70 and $80, um, per box. January's box was gorgeous and, um, it was over $100. And it was mostly gemstone. So, uh, I do have a coupon code. It's here on the screen. Um, the link for that is in the description below. You can use that coupon code at checkout and save $2 off your first month. And, um, anyways... So that's the business part of this. Let's go ahead and get the beading. I did put a jump ring on the, uh, the pendant. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to grab my um, clamshell. This is from Amazon. Um, we're going to go through the back of the clamshell out through its mouth. I'm grabbing one of these um, crimp tubes, also from Amazon. I'm going to grab my flat pliers. I'm going to make sure that it's kind of in the center of that crimp tube. Flatten that. Give it a tug. Make sure it's on there. I'm going to grab my cutters, nip off the excess, pull my clamshell up. My beading wire is seven strand. It is also from Bargain Bead Box. Close that. We're going to give that a hug. Squeeze that. Make sure it's all lined up good. And I'm going to start beading. I'm going to simply bead on. Well, excuse you, Heifer. Heifer's in here with me. We're adding um, these that came. I believe I ordered them from Bargain Bead Box. They are either three or four millimeter. Hold on. Okay, so yes, they are four millimeter. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bead string. Get that up there where you can see what I'm doing. Of course, when I did that, I messed everything up. Um, I'm going to kind of keep a pattern for each side being the same. Um, I am putting a 
silver uh, spacer between. I'm adding different beads to help give a little bit of visual interest. I probably will have to get some more of these spacer beads out. I think I miscalculated. But that's okay. They're right there. Goodness. It's hard to see. So far, this is what I have. And I want the heart to go so that it's coming down the necklace like this. I did decide to use a bicone here, but um, I'm debating on let's go ahead and put the bail. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I want to put silver there. And I'm just going to go ahead and bead back up the other way. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I have it all strung on. I'm holding it up here and here. And we're just going to make sure that they are all equal. And it is. So, double checking all the B counts, making sure the silver is where it should be. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spread this open because I need to get my pliers in here. So, I'm going to add my clamshell so that the Beading wire comes up through the mouth of the clam shell. Add my crimp tube. Whoops. Let it drop all the way down into the mouth of the crimp tube, the clam shell. Now, my pliers got, um, what's the word I want to use? Magnetized. So I have difficulties with them. I want to make sure that this is, um, you know, everything is, there's no extra spaces, but it will curl. I'm going to kind of give it some weight here so it doesn't flop around on me while I do this. I'm going to reach in there and just mash down that crimp tube. There you go. And then I'm going to give this a pull. And it's on there tight. Take that out of the way. And now I can go ahead and cut all this extra. Leave just a tiny bit there. And we're going to go ahead and pull this up. Take my pliers, give it a squeeze, give this a squeeze. Now, we're going to come back down here. I'm going to pull this 
down where I can see it and get a hold of it. This is double sided. It says to the moon and back on both sides. We're going to put this on just like that. I did grab and go ahead and put the um, jump ring on earlier. Um, now I just need to open it, but I want to make sure it's open quite a ways because this is a good thick bail. We're going to slide our bail down on both the moon and the bail is thick, so we want to, I may have to move this a little bit around on my pliers to give me a little more room. And I may have to grab just a little bit bigger. There we go. So say I may need a bigger jump ring, but I got it. We're going to close this. Whoops. And they slip. Get back a hold of this side. I still may get a bigger jump ring. There we go. We got it. Make sure that's closed. Whoops. And it is. Now we're going to go ahead and add the chain. Um, I'm going to use jump rings for that also, and I forgot to get them out. And then I need bigger jump rings. Whoops, wrong size. For the clasps to go into and for the um, chain for the extender. We're going to measure this. This measures just under seven inches. Um, 12 inches would be six because I'm going to put a jump ring on that'll take care of the extra. So I want to cut it there. So I need two pieces of six inches. That's 12 and seven is 19 plus we'll have the clasp. There we go. And then I will need to grab. There we go. Let's get this together. Jump ring, chain, close it up tightly. Another jump ring, the end of that chain, the clasp, sorry about that guys. Then 
channel through this side. Put on our necklace. Chain, close it, just turn it a little bit so we can fix that closure. I just flung that one. I don't know where it landed. Oh my goodness. Jump ring open. This side we're going to add. Oops, I need a bigger jump ring. Sorry guys. This side is going to be the clasp. So we need the bigger jump ring. Find the opening. Open. We're going to put on the chain to the necklace, chain to the extender, close it, and then the extender, we're going to It's just being stubborn. Open. I am going to get one of these beads out if I can. I'm going to put one of these beads on. By doing this, it gives it extra weight and helps keep the chain to down on across your back. So I'm going to put a bead on, add the extender chain, close it. And I did not check my lobster but it works and there whoops turn it around like i was supposed to have it we have a very pretty whoops there we go get everything out of the way easy galentine's valentine's oh my light that's what's going on my light has like slid Sorry about that, guys. Love you to the moon and back. Great for a parent to give a daughter or a child to give to their mother. Very pretty. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a most amazing day. Bye, guys.